Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Flip Through Friday. We're going to be doing the Black Moon Astrology Cards by Susan Shepard. That's coming up right after this. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the operator, and creator here. And on Fridays, we do flip throughs of all kinds of decks, Oracle, Divination, Lenormand, Tarot that I have in my growing collection. I got this deck for Christmas from my mom and it was my very first astrology deck and she bought it because she knows I love the moon so it was on my Amazon wish list if you ever want to support my channel feel free to check out the Amazon wish list it is in the description box below or book a reading with me book a consult book a coaching session anything like that would help keep this channel up and running today we're going to go over the black moon astrology cards on fridays like i said we do flip throughs on wednesdays we do witchy wednesdays it we cover things of all kinds of witchcraft spirituality etc under that umbrella on wednesdays if you like that kind of stuff i highly suggest you check out my channel and subscribe i will occasionally do live videos and I don't usually post when I'm going live, so make sure you click that notification bell so you know when I'm going live. One thing that is a little bit different today is I have a mug right here. And this mug is called Cats, Crystals, and Coffee. It, I purchased it from a company. I'm, I'm having some coffee in it actually right now. And I purchased it from a company that... I found on Instagram that's all about witchy clothing, witchy metaphysical spirituality, clothing and accessories. So they have coffee mugs, they have uh, makeup bags and things of that nature, clothes, shirts, and I'm working on partnering with them in the future. So this is a 15 ounce mug and it's really nice and thick and it's actually my new favorite one because it holds a lot and I break, I drop them a lot. I haven't dropped this one, but I break coffee mugs like crazy. So I thought I'd just share this with you. I will link down below and put into the editing section the name of the company because I have a hard time pronouncing it. I think it's called Makari, but that doesn't feel right. So it starts with an M. I don't have a code for you yet, but if you wait for a few weeks, I should hopefully have one for you guys soon. So we're gonna put that off to the side. If you're unfamiliar with how I do flip throughs, we go over the outside of the box, we go over the, the guidebook, and then we go over the deck itself. I decided to include a moonstone here, which I got from Tamed Wild. Feel free to check out that video in a surprise box because it is a moon deck. So I thought that would be fun. All right, we are going to launch right into this. So the box itself is matte. This is what the sides look like. Okay, so the publisher is Blue Angel. And I'm trying to do this today under my skylight with natural lighting. I can't quite tell if there's a glare or not. So hopefully there is not. But this is what the back says. And it's priced at $25.95. Again, I got this as a present, so I didn't buy it. I don't know if there was a sale or what. There probably was not. And so the box is matte. The cards are bigger than a usual Oracle deck, but not by much. As you can see, it has all the zodiacs. And then this symbol right here, this crescent moon with the cross underneath it, is the Black Moon Lilith. And I actually absolutely am fascinated by Black Moon Lilith and what it represents. The more I learn about it and where it is in my chart, the more I realize how I connect to it. So I do suggest you check that out. The cards are smooth, a smooth mat, okay? We're gonna go over them in a minute. So this is the deck. The inside is just a plain purple. 
So this is the deck, uh, the book, the guidebook, not the deck. Sorry. The guidebook. I'm a little rusty. I haven't done a video in a while. <laughs> Rather, I haven't recorded a video in a while because I had stocked up on a lot of videos that I previously made. So this is the outside of the deck. The book. Oh my gosh. The outside of the book. Sorry, guys. And if you're unfamiliar with how I do this, I go through the book a little bit so that you can read some of it and then we jump into the cards this deck absolutely needs the book okay unless if you're very familiar with astrology it's hard to use at least I have found it's hard to use this deck without the book it was published originally in 2017 but this printing was done in 2021 and there's a lot of cards there's 52, 52 cards. So here's the introduction. And as a reminder, you can pause and read this yourself. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. See, Black Moon Lilith. It talks about Black Moon Lilith. I am not an astrologer. I'm learning. I'm an intermediate student. So there's a lot that I'm still unfamiliar with. So this is a quick summary of the cards grouped together. And then spreads. If you are a learning astrologer or just like to dabble in it, I recommend you get this deck because it really does open up a lot. I have not used all these spreads. I haven't had a chance to. I will pull a card for clients if I have time to look through the book, but this is the kind of book, the kind of deck that you really need to know your stuff astrologically or you need the book. And I don't know everything about astrology. So that's why I like to use the book. And I do tell my clients that I'm looking in the book. I don't hide that from anybody. So look how long. This is the first card. Sun Spirit, right? This is everything around the card. It gets into what it, it is in brief. The corresponding tarot card and the key ideas. It also deeply gets into the astrology. And it's like that with every single card. There's also a quote at the beginning of every pay, every card information. See? Okay. I'm going to flip to the back because I'm not going to show every single page. And then it talks about the author. And then something about a recommendation from another deck. From a different author. Okay. So now I'm going to get the cards set up. And we're going to start our flip through. I don't believe they do reversals. I'll double check that in a second and let you guys know. Okay, we're going to do the flip through now. I'm going to be quiet. We're going to listen to some music and just flip through. Oh, and they're backwards. <laughs> there are no reversals. By the way, I just double checked. It's not, they don't talk about reversals. So this is just...
of the Black Moon Astrology cards. Now, let's talk about, do I find this accurate? I find this deck ridiculously accurate. It calls you out on your stuff the way a lot of the other moon decks do that I've reviewed. I've done a moonology deck. I've done a moonology manifestation deck. And I've done a queen of the moon oracle deck. This could be because I'm a moon baby and I'm very connected to the moon and I work with the moon a lot. But I do find that this vibration of this deck, when you ask it a question, because I've just done one card polls about an overall situation so far. I've done it for myself, for clients, and for our family. And it calls people out on their crap. It really does. It, it gets down to the heart of the matter. It doesn't play around, especially when you're reading the depth of the book. I recommend you check them out. As a reminder, as I'm filming this, I am not affiliated. The link down below, I'm not getting anything from it. As a reminder, at time of filming, which is April 10th, 2022, I don't get anything from the, the links. I mean, I don't have affiliates for it. I don't, I don't get any kind of commission. It's just something that I'm sending to you guys so you can find it if you're interested. Please support my channel. Either check out my website at melsdivination.com. It's all linked down below. It, feel free to book a reading. Feel free to book a coaching, coaching session or send me an email if you're looking for something specific. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.